Hey, hold on. Let me close the door because they're watching a the movie and I don't want that to. The, the mic picks up a lot of good stuff. So, hold on. All right, y'all. So, I'm going to take you guys out with me today. I'm going to go do a few things. Uh, I need to do some. So, I figure. You know, I'm going to start vlogging more often. I hope you guys enjoy these. I don't care if I get 10 views, 1,000 views, 4 views, 50 views. I really don't care. I'm just going to put this out there because I like to do vlogs, man. It, it puts me to the test on my editing, man. But before we go and do that, man, um, basically, I go by the name of Tops. If you guys new here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, I don't have my merch on right now, but this is my boy Zaya uh t-shirts but i got my own right here this is another one tops world in the bottom and then this is the um buy what you like f the hype you know what i'm saying so that will be in the link in the link in the description below uh www.topsworld.bigcartel.com and go get that fire merch, man. It helps support the channel. And plus, it will enter you on the Bread 11 giveaway, man. On the Bread 11 giveaway that I will be doing. Or I will be announcing the winner to, uh, a week before the actual shoe drop. Um, if I'm able to get my hands on them, if I can't, then we're going to do a pair of AirPods, man. Everybody loves a pair of AirPods. So I got to find a solution to this situation. Because from what it looks like, everybody wants this sneaker, man. You guys saw the shock drop that happened on Thursday, Thursday two, uh, Thursday at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. This shoe dropped, man. You know, your boy went after them things, and I took an L, man. But we had a solution, man. A couple of my other boys uh, ended up taking L2 as well. My neighbor hit on a size 9, so I got my boy a pair real quick. You know what I'm saying? And he's blessing it for the retail, so we appreciate that. Um, but besides that, man... I'm going to go ahead and throw on the What The Fours with this t-shirt. Make boxes great again. Shout out to the Retro Wiz kid. He loves his boxes. Um, but yeah, man, I'm going to throw these on. These are going to be the sneaker of the day. You know, I got to throw these on. These haven't released date. Release yet, uh, 23rd. You already know. If you haven't checked that video, go check it out, man. It'll be somewhere up here, card. Or, you know, just brought to this channel. It's an early look on... The breath force. I mean, not breath force. What the force? So, I'm not gonna rock the hand tag because I already I lost I lost my hand tag to my bread force. So I was a. Uh, so I. Uh, so if you guys haven't checked that video out, go ahead do so. So man, right now I am working on designing another shirt, um, and I'm working on it because obviously, you know, shout out to the people who cop their shirts already. I appreciate you guys it helps me out uh, at the end of the day but um, I'm working on designing something you know putting wording on the on the on the front a lot of things that I like to say is like you know buy what you like after hype type deal you got to pay to play you know and all that stuff I think that's gonna be my next t-shirt let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of that idea pay to play in the in the you know in the front of the t-shirt and stuff like that and um you know, I just want to bring something different to the table, man. You know, something that, that represents Topps World at the end of the day. But I'm going to show you guys right now. I got a sneaker sale going on. Um, the reason why I do this kind of stuff, because it helps me buy other sneakers. Um, not all the times I like to take out money out of my account, you know, that I work hard for. And basically go and buy sneakers because I got bills to pay, man. Just like everybody else out here that's in the sneaker community, like your boy, man. So before I do all that stuff, man, I want to show you guys, if you guys are interested, these are all size 13. These are all size 13 sneakers, but uh, besides the t-shirt, um, yeah, if you guys are um, down for that, like, or whatever, check it out. I will be coming out probably by the night. I will be uh, designing it and probably showing it to you guys tomorrow on like IG or whatever. So if you guys haven't followed me on IG, it's Tops World YT on IG. I'm not very active on Twitter or Snapchat or any other place. I hate Facebook. Um, but other than that, hold on a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got going on. So all these shoes right now, I got them on GOAT, man. I got them on GOAT. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the sneakers. Of course, these are mostly GRs, uh, except for I don't know if you think uh, the not the obsidians the uh, fearless ones 
I got those right there. I got a good price on those. Basically, whatever. Um, I think on GOAT right now, my size is a 190. So I just want to show you guys real quick. So I got the Ferrari 14s. I got those for 150 right now. 150 plus shipping. Then 190. 190 plus shipping. Uh, 100 plus shipping. 85 plus shipping. Uh, I'll do 85 plus shipping and 85 plus shipping. And then I have the Trophy Room 23s. If anybody's interested, um, I actually want, I don't know, maybe 210 plus shipping. 200 even shipping. So I got these right here. I will leave a link, uh, not a link, but all of them down in the description if you guys are interested in them. Uh, basically, I barely wear these shoes, man. I probably wore these uh, once to sneaker con for Lauderdale. Um, I've wore this like twice. You know, I've worn this twice too as well. So, you know, I take care of my shoes, man. I've worn this uh, once to Walmart. Uh, wore this once to uh, Dallas, to SneakerCon Dallas. And then these are DS. Uh, I already sold my uh, shoe that I did the on feet on and all that stuff. I sold those already. But yeah, that definitely has uh I had double up on these. I got one at uh the sneakers app and then one at Champs, which is the vlog you guys saw the pickup on. Which is that one's from Sneakers app. Um yeah, I got these up for grabs. If anybody's interested, uh those right there are sold. Those are the Candy Cane 14s. Those are sold right there. Um, but yeah, man, let me know in the comment section or hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on at Tops World YT, and let me know if you guys are interested in it. I will be leaving the prices on the bottom. If you if you guys offer me something and whatever, you know what I'm saying, just know that the price, um, they're good prices, bro. I'm just trying to get rid of them because it's just it's gonna help me buy more sneakers. I'm not gonna wear them. Um, I'm not gonna wear them. I got more shoes in my closet that I'm, I'll probably be doing another video on if you guys want to uh, purchase. So I might hit the video up with a nice little clickbait selling my sneaker collection or something like that. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta do some because that's the only way I'm able to buy shoes, like newer stuff and stuff like that. So if you guys are looking for something like this, like you know, these shoes are nice little beater shoes and I got a good price on them. So. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. These are all size 13 guys. These are all size 13s And I know there's a lot of size 13 gang out there shout out to my size 13 gang, you know I appreciate you guys, but yeah, if you guys want to cop these Let me know man. Let me know in the comment section or hit me up on IG bro But further ado man, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump in the whip and we're gonna do our thug thizzle man All right, but show let go All right, y'all, so we're currently in the whip. I'm gonna do two or three things before we start doing what we supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I'm gonna go ahead, do what I gotta do, right? And then I wanna pass by the mall and check out these uh, LeBron 17s um, red carpet joints. They got the uh, kids pair and uh, I think big kids and, and, um, and small kids. Uh, pairs at Hibbit Sports here in Naples and um, I want to check those out man I want to see what they looking like man so y'all stay tuned for that but first I gotta go do what I gotta do alright we'll be back peace alright man so I'm here at my local mall I'm actually gonna see if they got these LeBrons in hands 
because they fired me man them red carpet 17s they dope but i'm gonna go ahead and check these stores out see if they got my size or if they got them period man they don't show they don't show love here man in my city bro so um shame on your nike brand and jordan brand for not showing love man but we're ahead we're walking in this joint um find out to see if they got these shoes in hand all right man i'm over here at hibbit sports and i just realized they had these things on shelf right now man so if anybody's interested and is around my area this was a woman exclusive jordan a aqua man these shoes are dope don't sleep come over here cop they got them for a good price retail shoddy 190 and if you got the coupon going on i'm pretty sure you can get these guys with your coupon for hibbits but yeah man Let's go look at what I came here for, man. So, my thoughts and opinion on these joints right here. Fire. Fire, 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 fire. These shoes are still sitting on the sneakers app. So, that gives me the opportunity to go ahead and pull the trigger, man. These things are super dope. Too bad they only have kid sizes here. Man, this is a dope sneaker, bro. Oh my God. First impression. These are dope. These are super dope. So I got my thumbnail and I got my title. Shout out to Hibbits, man. They never fail your boy. 160 for kids, I believe retail for men is 200. Is it worth the 200? Nah, maybe. But, you know, the dope pair is shaped a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? I'm assuming. But yeah, man, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about these joints. Was this a cop or a pass? To me, this is definitely a dope sneaker, man, in my opinion. All right, man, I am back in the whip. I did what I had to do. Could be going somewhere later on, but that's going to be for a continuous vlog. I'm trying to do two vlogs a day and stuff like that, but just to create content and bring that and make that YouTube algorithm popping, you know what I'm saying? But I got some fire food for the fam and uh, two as well, man. I Stay tuned, man, because I'm on my way to the crib. I got something I got to take out my chest, so stay tuned for that. If you're still here, man, salute to y'all, man. But I'll see you guys at the crib, all right? Later. All right, guys, we are back at the crib. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog thing, everything that's been going on throughout this vlog. But I'm sitting down here because I need to talk to you guys about something. All right, so YouTube is basically, um, I don't know if you heard this from your favorite content creator or not, but I got something to take off my chest. And YouTube is getting harder than ever, man. Just to make a little sum sum on YouTube. So, if it's kids content created, related, your videos won't be monetized, such and such, such and such, and blah, 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 blah. So, I feel bad for those kids' channels that are popping right now, making a bunch of money, and they just got this curveball. And I understand where YouTube is coming from in the sense of what's going on. So, basically, what's going on is there's certain ads that won't be put on on certain videos and stuff like that, so... You know, if you see your favorite content creator not posting as much because obviously they're doing this for money, I do this for money. Eventually at one point I want this channel to be on and popping where I can make enough money. You know what I'm saying? That's my my goal and my dream to do here on YouTube. And of course, interact with you guys, you know, is also too important. I can't leave that out. YouTube is gonna get harder as, as the years go by. YouTube is always gonna be around. Hopefully it changes and gives those kid channels a chance to find a loop around all that that's going on with these kids channels, um, because they're they're that's how they support their family. That's how you know what I'm saying. Like, hopefully they got a plan B, but you know, because YouTube is not forever for everybody. Uh, luckily, I do content that is pretty much for everybody: kids, adults, you know, teenagers, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Is sneaker content at the end of the day. 
But um, yeah, man. Um, and a lot of sneaker YouTubers that are putting out videos, they're not doing numbers right now. If they ain't talking about bull crap that's going on in the sneaker community, all that other crap, man. If you ain't talking about that, you ain't getting numbers. If you're just showing a sneaker on your videos like me, we're not getting numbers, man. Unless you got an early look of some a certain hype shoe. You know, if you guys haven't checked it, yeah, I got the, the, the fours or what the fours out. And I'm trying to do other things, man. But it takes money. It takes time. It takes out energy. You know, arguments. All kinds of stuff, man. Like, bro, if you're thinking about starting to do YouTube for sneaker related stuff and stuff like that. Look, man, just think about it. You're going to have people talking smack about you because you're going to do something that they don't like. You're going to, you know, it's, there's a bunch of negativity and at the same time, there's a bunch of positivity too as well. So you got to learn how to cope yourself. I had to do it. I had to learn. I had to learn how to like manage all that stupidity that comes with YouTube. So you know youtube right now what i'm what i feel like youtube is doing is trying to get get these people out of here so whoever's performing content with a lot of profanity and a lot of mess a messy content i feel bad for you guys because um you guys won't be monetized no more so uh this is for all the people that are creating content that haven't read those emails or understand those emails because the way they word those emails i swear to you is so confusing whatsoever if you guys haven't checked yet look it up man you could probably google it whatever the case is look it up the new rules and regulations on youtube is is ridiculous man so the people that do all that negativity content with a lot of profanity and all that stuff i feel bad for you guys man because they you guys won't get paid for doing that i could be wrong but according to what the emails are saying that's what's going to happen. So that's why your boy never cursed on his videos or try not to curse. Um, when I go up live, I try not to curse on the lives and stuff like that. I, it's hard. But I have to because if you want people to place ads on your videos, I can't have profanity on my videos. So that's where I wanted to take this little bit of this vlog and explain to you guys what's basically going on in the YouTube world. You know, not just only sneaker content and all that stuff. Right now, sneaker content is not dead, but it's, we're not producing views right now. We're not getting looks. We're not, not even, not even the big YouTubers are doing what they normally do nowadays. So it's kind of hard for us to stay motivated to keep dropping videos and stuff like that. So, you know, if you guys have a favorite content creator, just always remember to hit that like button, comment down below, you know, interact with them you know and uh, all kinds of stuff man share the videos if you can do whatever it takes to help us out because at the end of the day we use this to create more content the revenue we make off of youtube we use it to create more content and all that stuff i don't get donations like other people do i don't or well, whatever i'm not here to uh complain about what i don't get what other youtubers get whatever i don't give three craps about that because i donate to certain youtubers too as well um but long story short yeah man if you can support your favorite content creators share their videos like their videos comment down below whatever even if you put emojis on there doesn't matter it's something youtube sees that there's interaction with that video and they will promote that video as much as you, they can at the end of the day it's all free to do it it only takes a few seconds of your time to go ahead and put that on there but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's tough out here for us, man. Especially if it's your main job and your main income source, which a lot of people are going to start, you're going to have to start to look for another different kind of avenue and not depend on YouTube um, income at the end of the day. So that's why I started off the merch and all that stuff. So if you guys haven't checked that out, I'm trying my best, man. I'm trying my best to be the best out here on YouTube to stand out, um, try to bring in this best, the best content there is out there the quality the editing all that good stuff man because all that stuff puts in time man it takes time it's time consuming and time is very little is what we have because i gotta work i gotta do personal stuff my and then youtube and all that stuff so that's why i don't post daily content if i didn't have nothing else to do and just i was on my butt all day trust me you'll have a video every day about some bull crap but as you guys can see um this weekend we did basically didn't get anything they dropped 
besides the Travis Scotts and the Yeezys. The Yeezys are ugly, trash. And the Travis Scotts, they're also trash too as well. I don't like the shoe corduroy and all that crap on the shoe. Not my cup of tea, man. But if you guys hit, congratulations. Enjoy. I hope everybody that went after them bread 11s on the shock drop, bro, I hope you guys hit, man. I didn't hit personally, but I'm okay because I know in a couple days or so, you guys probably will see a review up on my channel. Uh, probably by like Thursday or Friday of, of this upcoming week. You guys will see that, that shoe in my hand. But the shoe probably won't be mine unless the plug hits me up and be like, hey, we got our shipment in. Come get your shoe. So, further ado, guys. If you guys stayed all the way to the end, hit that like button for your boy. And if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so every time your boy drops a banger like this one, you guys will be notified to watch, man. And all my OG subscribers, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for putting up to the video and always showing support. And and we out this thing, man. I hope. Oh, by the way, I hope you guys didn't like them LeBrons. Let me know what you guys think about them LeBron red carpet joints in the comment section down below. I would like to interact with you guys about it. But further ado, man, I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And it's your boy Tops. And I'm out. Peace.